there, my name is John Dole, and I'm right here in Tokyo, Japan, and we're going to do another edition of the Ghost Letters Report. Now, as you may be aware, if you're a current subscriber and been watching the vids I put up for quite a while, you know that it's quite rare for me to comment on things going on in America. Now, I need to point out I am an American citizen, but I don't live there, and I haven't lived there in a very long time. But now is one of those cases where, yeah, I feel inspired to speak about something going on in America. Of course, it's this, this whole situation of Ferguson and the sudden awareness, not only domestically in America, but internationally, of the nature and the inherent fundamental fundamental structure of the American police force and just how you know they choose to behave and how they behave and how they treat people you know it's very clear from watching here in the international world you know Americans that strange place a strange place called not America that that's where I live all right so I can see things from a very different perspective from what domestic Americans can see. And what I see here is finally a break in this contradiction, multiple contradictions between the capitalist state power and the people in America. What I mean by that is that what we see for the first time is that it's become impossible for domestically living Americans to ignore what police in America are doing <laughs> and who they are and who they serve <laughs> and it has many different layers to it there's racial context, there's economic context, there's privilege context, there's power context, there's the collapse of the continuing global collapse of cop capitalism to put in context here. There's the ever-growing difficulty to, of ignoring that America is a fascist state, regardless of what people say and the fact and also the context of America is an empire. And now, you know, it makes it very difficult for Americans to ignore all this. Now, various Americans have different reactions to it who are living domestically inside of it, you know. Some are seeing this for what it is, and they're speaking out about it. And they're saying, yeah, man, this is what's going on in our country. We need, you know, a, a big change, a systemic change. And I think the people in Ferguson themselves whether they're actually, they know the terminology for it or not, are aware, you know, they're becoming systemics, as I say in academic terms. They're seeing that, and they've known it for a long time, now it's just like it's in their face, and they're taking a stand against it. But the problem with the American police force is not some simple issue of a few bad apples. You know, it's systemic. And the only way to change it is to change the system. The only way to change the system is from the bottom up. The people themselves have to say enough of this. You know, we live in these communities and you're coming into these communities and you're doing shit like this. So, how can you say to us it's a few bad apples? You know, it's material experience. It's about, it's about developing correct ideas based on your material experience. You have thoughts in your head which you think are correct at first. Then you grind a word and try to test them. And you see that, well, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. But in this case, the right, the way they're feeling and what's going on are the same. It's not just Ferguson. This problem 
has been going on for quite a long time in America. This militarizing of the police force, this oppression of the people overtly, and it goes beyond racial tensions, but the problem is that the different races in America just can't seem to understand at times that it's happening to all of them. And you need to really give up on this tribalism. You need to give up on what the bourgeois tell you that certain racial groups are better than others. Get over that, America. Because what's being done to Ferguson is also being done to you. But you can't see it that way. You see it as like, well, you know, these bad apples, you know, or these fucks, you know, they want to come down hard on me because I'm white. Well, you do realize that the blacks, you know, are having the same feelings. They're coming down on me, hard on me because I'm black. Because the neighborhood I live in. You guys are speaking the same language, but you're not getting in your heads that that. So realize that, you know, take it from an American living outside of it. You can look at it from a third person perspective and see that, yeah, guys, Unify yourselves and get over your bullshit. All right? So that's all I really want to say about it for now. First time you see old John Dole here. Click, click, click. Subscribe. You'll like a lot of the videos I put up. And you'll get a little surprise from time to time. So until next time, this is your good comrade John Dole. Here in the streets of Tokyo. <laughs> Checking out.